so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the, uh, the Bluetooth module to hook up to your phone and get all the initial info sent to your tuner. So first things first, plug this into your car. Find the port, the OBD2 port, and plug it right in. All right, so I'm just gonna get straight to the point. This is how you link your phone to the Bluetooth module and send all the vehicle info to the tuner, which would be me if you're watching this video, hopefully. So settings. You're going to create an EcuTech account, which is your own email. And then for the tuner, choose tuner. Uh, my company is VPF Manufacturing on paper, although everyone knows me as a tuner. So we'll select this one. And then to pair it to that interface, add remove, EVI, BTLE. You want to use those for all the recent ones, the really, really old EcuTech modules. We'll use uh, this first one, BT only. So BTLE, hit the plus sign on the top right. It will find it. You'll add it to the list, and now we're gonna back up all the way. Go to my car. Uh, obviously your car should be turned on and the thing should be plugged in at this point. Select the EVI module that you just paired to the phone and it will start connecting to the car. All right, now at this point, we're gonna go down to program ECU, send vehicle info to tuner for the make, whatever you have, probably a Nissan or Infiniti, and uh, this exact case, Infiniti, and then this is a Q50. This is my personal Q50. I'm just using it as an example. And then you'll hit done. Send to VPF Manufacturing. And then when it says success, you are basically now waiting on me to look at the info and get your base file ready. Okay, so now that all the initial info is sent off to the tuner, uh, if you bought this from someone's website and then just follow these steps in this video and immediately sent them to them, or the tuner would be me, I guess, uh, we might not know all the details about your vehicle, so we largely need to know the uh, the size of your intakes or your MAF tubes, uh, what injectors you have, have you changed out sensors like your manifold pressure sensor, um, some cool cheat codes that are worth knowing. Most booster cars will use a 4-bar Omni MAP sensor or even an OEM GTR, like an R35 MAP sensor. They plug right into VHRs, uh, very cheap and cost-effective, uh, and they read fantastic. Uh, we need to know all this info so that way we can make your base map. So send us an email with some of these things. I'll put a little list, I guess, right here. Pause it. And then lastly, please try to communicate with us as clearly as possible. The more info we have, the better we can serve you guys. And then um, just follow instructions and then the tuning will go very, very efficiently. And then once we're done, we're done. Uh, the car should be good after that. I'm gonna make one more video on how to do uh, data logging and do your first reflash but this is it for just getting set up so that's it